Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning into Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is, do you continually repeat the same relationship drama? I think pretty much all of us can say that we've done this at one point in our life. But sometimes we have to look and say to ourselves, why are we continuing to, to pick a certain situation? Maybe it's toxic, just filled with drama all the time and expect a different result. Why do we continue to do this when we understand after three or four different attempts, this isn't working for us? Sometimes it's just because it's a familiar situation. It's something that we maybe grew up with. Maybe it's something that we miss from a past breakup situation. And so we continue to look for the same scenario that causes us repetitive heartbreak. Like anything in life, we have to learn the lessons that come from these unhealthy patterns. Because if we continue to repeat them, we're not learning anything from what we're doing. So we're just banging our head against the same wall continually. And as I said earlier, expecting a different result. There is usually a deep rooted situation that comes from choosing either toxic partnerships or just drama filled scenarios. But you have to understand why that pattern is coming back into your life all the time. What makes it a comfortable place for you to be? Or at least you think it's a comfortable place. Again, when something's familiar, it just becomes that sort of like home. It's You feel like it's a safe place, but in reality, it's not. Because if you're continuing to have the same relationship over and over again with different people, you are choosing like-minded people that have also got stuff they have to deal with and that you're bringing it together into a relationship. And this is quite common. This happens a lot. That's why when you're ready to meet somebody who's in the same place as you later on and you're in a healthy, healthy headspace, you tend to bring the right people towards you. So the real answer here is get to the root of the problem. What is making you continue to choose similar people that aren't working for you? You're here watching this video because something may be triggered in the title for you. And if you're finding there is a lot of dysfunction in your relationship, you really do need to sit down, maybe take the time to write it out on a piece of paper. What are the pros and cons of the relationships that you've been in? Both of those, the pros and the cons, will help you come to terms with why you're choosing a similar scenario. What are the pros? Can you take those and put them into another relationship after you've had time to sit back and think about it? Some people are very aware that their relationship isn't good for them, but they get addicted to the drama. Some people go through the make or the breakup and the makeup and they get addicted to that getting back together again because there's always some excitement that goes with making up with somebody. But the problem that you're not understanding here, if this is you, is that you are not finding the fulfillment that a healthy, balanced relationship can bring you. You're holding on to the few good things that maybe are in the relationship, but you're not looking at the whole general picture here. When you're in a reciprocated loving partnership, there isn't drama. There isn't a lot of things to figure out because you're on board with each other. You're on the same page with communication. You talk about everything together. If there's a problem, you deal with it. You don't pretend it's not there or break up and run away from it and then get back together after you've had time to miss them again. So what is it about the person that you are finding yourself with? What is the first thing that attracts you towards them? What is it that stands out? What do they remind you of your ex? Do they remind you of your parents? Do they remind you of the guy that got, or girl that got away? What is it about them that keeps you going back in the same direction to the wrong people? Once you understand what's drawing you towards them, it's going to be so much easier for you to combat this. You're going to have a, a clearer vision of what's standing in front of you because you've done the homework and taken time to figure out what's going on here. Why are these patterns coming back 
in and out of your life regularly. It might be something that you have to talk to a therapist about because maybe it is a deep-rooted situation that's been there since you were a young child. This is more common than you think. And a lot of us do choose our partners due to some of our childhood dialogue that's still in our head. Those things don't go away, but they can be managed and handled properly if you at least understand they're there. That is the important thing about anything you go through in your life, is understanding the message and the lessons. Not repeating, but moving up the ladder every time. You have the choice to attract the right people towards you. Because ultimately, at the end of the day, what you put out is what you get back. We all know about that cliche line, but it's pretty true. The cycle needs to be broken in any pattern that isn't working for you. That's the hardest part, is actually saying to yourself, okay, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm really going to pay close attention to this and I'm going to change up my what I'm doing. I'm changing everything. And I'm going to have a clear vision of what it is I'm looking for in a healthy partnership. Not just any partnership. Something that brings you a reciprocated love. Because if you're in a drama-filled, toxic relationship, it's not a reciprocated love. You should always have a small checklist that you adhere to. And it should include things like emotional availability in a reciprocated way. You both are super communicative and have no problem having open conversations. There should be integrity and loyalty. Have each other's back. You should have boundaries and understand the red flags of what's a healthy relationship and what isn't. Your values should be on the same page. And you should have physical and intellectual similarities to keep the relationship flowing. In closing today, I really want you to be very clear about understanding that you have to feel worthy of having love in your life. If you're pushing it away because you don't feel you deserve it, you will continue to choose people that aren't going to be there for a long time. It's really, really important to understand whether you have commitment fears or what other fears you have going into any relationship because that will always keep you from getting the love that you want and you do deserve. Thank you so much for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please subscribe, please click like, and leave any comments you have under the video today. Thanks so much for tuning in. Bye-bye.